Go. 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 All of you out. Go. Now. Come out. Mantra, you come out with Jesus. Come out with Jesus. Go. first round of deliverance the Lord brought into my life spontaneously and every spirit of divination every spirit of divination they came in they came in through the Ouija board I repent of playing the Ouija then another surprise is the next week, more deliverance, and, uh... Out. Ugh. <coughs> Get out. Every bit out. Every bit out. Every bit. He had been telling me to, to fast, and I didn't know why. I was fasting for my family's breakthrough, for my breakthrough, like total breakthrough. And I knew it was for my, my family as well. And anyways, one of the things that first that I got delivered from was uh, I used to have a confusion between the prophetic and and also what I have been thinking for a long time had been mixed with divination through things in my past that I had been exposed to open myself to. And I would get confused and where the prophetic would end and the divination would start. and. Since, since I got that freedom, that deliverance from divination and other spirits like that, um, there's been a lot less random, ridiculous knowings that I seem to always know. I could look over at a car on the freeway and I'd like know everything about the people in there and like what they're thinking and what their bondages were and all this stuff but it was like it kind of just make me feel prideful and look down on all of them and it, it never really had a good result it's like i could just sense all this stuff about people everywhere i went but i didn't i never knew really what to do about it, it just made me judge them and look down on them and that i figured out i guess that was from the enemy the whole time and i thought it was prophetic and so then lately things have been a lot more quiet like all week, I keep asking God, well, what, you know, what, when are you going to like do your stuff? Because, you know, now that all that's gone, I'm like waiting for, but all I just keep getting is peace, you know, just this calmness. And it's so, I guess that's where he's got me right now is this peace and calm. But then tonight, he had me move in more of prophetic, which actually had purpose. And it was very distinct and exact and like simple, like childlike and peace, full of peace and it had a purpose and it wasn't, I didn't feel I was judging or looking down on anybody. So that was awesome. Um, the other thing that's been happening, I keep getting not just touched by God, but where I used to get touched with a flash of something from Him and then it was gone. Now I, He comes and he, he just moves me. That's the only way I can say it. I'm moved by the Lord and I'm I overcome with, with His heart and His emotion about a thing. And I just almost, I will start crying. And that's new, so. That's pretty awesome, and I just feel lighter, happier, um, freer. My mind is quiet, uh, not constantly tortured with night terrors, and I have a great expectation for more freedom that's coming to everybody in my household, because God said he's starting with me, and I'm the dad and the husband, and it's working down through the rest of them. Well, so. well your daughter got some deliverance yeah, so, today. Yep. So I repent from self hate. Teach me how to love myself and any spirit that came in through cutting myself. I renounce. Right now, I speak to self hate. You come out now. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out in Jesus' name.
come out in Jesus' name. Go. 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 You're leaving her right now. Go. Go. Come out. Come out. Come out. Go. Go. Let her go. 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 Thank you. I've seen a lot of girls. Thank you, Jesus. A lot of girls that have gone up there. How is it? How are you doing now? Feel lighter? Is that going on now? I just feel a lot lighter and just from like things like my entire life, things I've dealt with, just like now I have like peace about it, I guess. Not so much just like like the devil being like, remember that, remember this, remember that. And just like throwing that back on me and I'm just like, yeah, I do remember that, but it was like before it would make me like feel more hopeless, and, like worthless, but now I'm like, it's a testimony to be like, you know, this is what God did for me and I'm free from that. Well. Yeah, it's, it's, it's almost like it's, it's been a new thing. The last week, I just almost start like I do start crying again and again over things I touch and move. Before I used to get touched by God like just a flash and then you no know, response so quick. Now I get moved, like moved, like almost just takes me down and just almost like start. We do start weeping a little bit. And it's pretty powerful. I cry a lot. God's presence will hit me and then I'll like be tearing up in like random places and I'll just like, you know, Miller's story oh, yeah. and just like... It's great because right. that's like, I'm not all just like all balled up anymore. It's like you can just like feel his yeah, emotions well. and stuff. Cool. Hi, you know, cool. yeah. And what happened tonight? Well, tonight I came up with... Every spirit. They came in my life for running from you. Right now in Jesus' name, I break off every soul time of this woman. Go in Jesus' name. Go in Jesus' name. Let her go in Jesus' name. Let her go in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Since I was younger, I struggled with, with depression, and that was kind of an identity for me. And once that, it was kind of in a hibernation for a while. Like, I knew that the joy of the Lord was my strength, but. Like tonight, it just all came out out of its hibernation where where it was, and also the the word curses of that I'm not good enough or that I'm not capable of being loved or loving myself since I've been. <clears throat> before I was in abusive relationships and whoever's watching this now don't settle for less because God has way more in store for you than what you think what you think he has in store there's way more that he's gonna do 
for you. You can see it with me today. I'm walking miracle like I tried to kill myself before and God did not let that happen. I was in the hospital for a week in a waking coma and I should have been dead. I should have been a vegetable for the rest of my life or I should have had heart problems. And this is when I was in eighth grade. And today I'm a walking miracle. So, don't give up. This is what I saw. So in the name of Jesus right now, spine and hip, you go back in place, even up in Jesus' name. There it goes. Uh, All the way. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Bam. <laughs> check so your, stand up, check your back up. Yeah. <laughs> Quite a piss. So, if you walk a little bit, check it out. <laughs> so, so, she just got delivered, got healed. I'm on fire right now? Okay. Yes. Holy Ghost from my head to toes, fill her up. All the way. <laughs> Thank you, God. More, 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 more. What are you catching? <laughs> <Whee>! <laughs>